wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Oh, wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me. Even me, oh wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me, oh wonderful grace, how he saved even me, even me, even me, oh wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me oh wonderful grace how he saved even me even me even me oh wonderful grace how he saved even me how he saved even me oh wonderful grace how he saved even me even me even me, oh wonderful grace, how he saved even me, how he saved even me. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Sister Turner. God bless you, Tamika. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. God bless you. Good morning. DJ Forgiven, good morning, D. Turner, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Gibson, God bless you. Good morning, 15662, God bless you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Minister and Sister Morris, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Rickenbacker, God bless you. Good morning, Alicia Payne, God bless you. Good morning, good morning, Mother Riley, God bless you. Praise Jesus, Brother Paul, God bless you and your family. Good morning, Deacon Briggs. God bless you and Sister Briggs and your family. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Sister Kathy. God bless you, Brother Butler and the family. Good morning, Sister Winters. Good morning, Sister Clark. God bless you and Deacon Clark this morning. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you and Brother Perry. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning, Robin Cook Jones. God bless you. Good morning, Brandy. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Pedlar. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Miriam. God bless you and your family. And please give my congratulations to your pastor on this celebration. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Frederick. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Zimmerman. God bless you. Good morning, Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Minister and Missionary Dawes. God bless you both. Good morning, Bishop Alde, Lady Alde, your family, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. God bless all of you. Good morning, Sister Sarah. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Holman. God bless you. Praise the Lord to you. Good morning, Sister Pedlar. Good morning, Sister Mamie. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Taylor. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Gordon. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Davis. God bless you, Deacon Arthur and the family. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. God bless you, Tiana. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I thank God for his grace and his mercy in my life. I thank God for God's ability to work things out. I thank God for the prayers of the saints that he's answering, people being healed, people being delivered, people being freed, God sustaining people in challenging moments. And we thank God for that. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it into the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD. And to everybody 
that's on the conference call. And we thank God for our conference call listeners to everybody who is on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336-567-5358. Again, the number for prayer request is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Text them in. We're adding them to the prayer list, to the prayer book, and we are believing God with you for what we know the Lord is indeed able to do. Join me now, back in the hundred and nineteenth Psalm, and you will find us Psalm one nineteen, and you'll find us in verse number one hundred and five. Psalm one nineteen, verse one hundred five. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Except I beseech thee the freewill offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Even unto the end. And I want to talk this morning from the subject, the word is light. The word is light. Um, I don't know anybody that lives without some form of light, whether it's natural light or electrical light or the light of lamps or the light of candles. Everybody uses light. It's interesting that the first thing that God commanded into existence was light. He said, let there be light. And and light has a number of um, uses. First of all, to see. And um, now I'm somebody that I don't turn on a lot of light. Um, I like level of darkness helps me relax. Um, But I do use light. Obviously, lights are on right now in my home, so I'm able to share the morning prayer. Um, light, natural light, sunlight is a sterilizer. You bring things into light to sterilize them. You bring things into light. It's a phrase, literary phrase in order to disclose or to share light unveils, light reveals, light shows things. And in verse 105, the psalmist says, the word is a lamp unto my feet. And so that gives an imagery of walking, walking perhaps in dark places, walking at night, walking when they're, um, you, where, where the sun is going in, and you use a lamp for your feet. You shine the light down. Um, we don't use the, the lamps they use in the Bible. We use flashlights. And you don't hold a flashlight up. You hold a flashlight down so that you're able to see what is in front of you so that you don't stumble. So the light is there to keep you from falling. The light is there to put to show you what is in your way, what might fall in front of you, what might cause you to fall. The light is there for that purpose. And he says, it is a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. Somewhere that guides and keeps and prevents me from falling, prevents me from stumbling, prevents me from hurting myself because that word is a lamp. That Think about it. The word is the lamp. As we traverse and walk through this dark world, as we deal with dark things and dark people and dark circumstances, we have the light of the word that is guiding us. We have the light of the word that is sustaining and keeping us. We have the light of the word that is preventing us from falling so that we don't injure ourselves or damage ourselves. God has given us the light of the word to God and a light unto my path. 
Hallelujah. So it's something I'm carrying with me as I'm walking through this world. Think about this. We are living in such a dark, dark world. We are living in such a perverse world. We are living in a world that does not even acknowledge the reality of God. Hallelujah. But yet God has given us the light. So that you don't have to stumble. If people are stumbling and falling around you, if you have the light of the word, you don't have to stumble. You can stand, you can maintain, you can preserve your position because the word is light. Hallelujah. The word is light. He says, I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. Because of the illumination of the word, the psalmist is saying that he will live by the word. I, I keep saying this, hallelujah, not to be redundant, but to drive home the point that the word has to be applied. The word has to be, hallelujah, live. The word has to be carried out in life. And so he says that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I've sworn it. I've made a promise to myself. I've made a promise to God that I will live by the word because the word can only guide you if you live by it. Let me say that again. The word can only guide you if you live by it. If you refuse to walk in the Lord's statutes, if you refuse to walk in his path, if you refuse to walk in his way, then the word doesn't do you any good. But when you take the word and you use it, you apply it and you allow the word to guide you, guess what? The word will perform its purpose of keeping you out of trouble, keeping you out of judgment, keeping you away from those things that could come to destroy your life. He, he makes the point, and this is real, I am afflicted very much. Everybody has problems. Everybody faces challenges. Everybody goes through what they go through. Everybody endures something. And don't ever look at somebody and think, oh, they don't have any problems. Oh, yes, they do. You may not be able to see them. They may not be the obvious. Everybody's problem is not money. Everybody's problem is not physical health. Sometimes it's relational. Sometimes it's career. Sometimes it's just internal, hallelujah, conflict that keeps us. And he says, I'm afflicted very much. Quicken me according to thy word. Lord, make me alive by thy word. I've said it before that the word, Jesus said his word is spirit and his word is life. There is life in the word. And when things would sap the life out of me, when things would sap the joy, joy out of me, when things would sap the peace out of my mind. Thank God for the word, Hashiatama, that quickens me. Hallelujah. Quickens me, keeps me alive. Oh my God. The promises of God's word is what each of us are standing upon. The promises of God's word is keeping us in every situation. The promises of God's word is sustaining us. He says, except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth. This is important. Now, we all understand giving and the principles of giving, but, but the psalmist is saying, I'm giving free will offerings from my mouth, my praise, my worship, my adoration to God, me lifting God up in the midst of everything that I might be facing or dealing with. That's what we're doing. That's how we're living by the living word of God, the free will offerings of my mouth. Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, I honor you. I glorify you. And nobody's making me say it. My, what I know about you, the goodness of God in my life, the favor of God upon my life, the blessings of God upon my life are motivating me, motivating me to praise God with my mouth. Free will offerings. Hallelujah. Not under duress, not under, hallelujah, not somebody making, not somebody cajoling or shaming me, but the free will offerings of my mouth. Hallelujah. And teach me thy judgments. Accept the offerings. And Lord, keep teaching me by the word. The word is guiding my life. The word is helping me to make it through life. My soul is continually in my hand. Yet I do not forget thy law. Now, understand this. That all of this is a matter of free will. Everything we do. For God, everything we do in response to God's word is free will, meaning that a person can choose not to follow the word. It breaks my heart 
But people choose every day not to follow the word. They go after their own thoughts, their own minds, their own understanding, their own concepts, their own morals. But the word, but he, and that's why he says, my soul is continually in my hand. It is my choice. It is my choice. But when you make that choice, guess what? You deal with the realities of the choice. Some people are in trouble and it's not the devil. Let me say it again. Some people are in trouble and it is not the devil. It is the free choice of their willfulness to do things their way as opposed to doing things God's way, as opposed to doing things after the manner and the calling of God. He says, the wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. They laid a snare. Hallelujah. I don't forget the law. I can make the choice. I could do something else. I could act out of the will of God, but I do not forget thy law. The wicked have tried to trap me. The wicked have tried to tempt me and understand that everything in this world system is designed to be a snare for believers. That's why the, we, we were taught years ago about worldliness, but worldliness is deeper than clothes and makeup and going to clubs. It's attitudes. It's behaviors. It's habits. Oh, hallelujah that take hold of us in what we call worldliness. But understand that the wicked have laid that trap. The enemy have laid that trap, hoping that you will fall in the snare, hoping that you will fall into the trap. But he says, I yet I err not from thy precepts. The only way you can avoid, remember, the light down the dark path. The only way you can avoid falling into darkness is by keeping the word. Because all around us is darkness. All around us is ungodliness. All around us is all kinds of perversion and all kinds of hatred and meanness all kinds of selfishness, but the word is guiding us through. The word is taking us through. And that's why I haven't erred. I didn't make, oh God, if you have not erred, if you've lived according to God's word, if you're living holy, it's because the word of God is guiding your life. It's not because you're that strong. It's not because you're that capable. It's because you're living in obedience to the word and the word of God is guiding your life. Thy testimonies, have I taken as a heritage forever? For they are the rejoicing of my heart. Does the word cause you to rejoice? Does the word cause you to get excited? Does the word lift your spirit? Does the word enrich your soul? Does the word keep your mind? Oh, hallelujah. That's what the word does. It's that light on that dark path. Hallelujah. It's that light on that dark road. It's that light in that dark place, that dark season. His word, hallelujah, is a lamp and it's a light. Thy testimonies, hallelujah, are, are I taken as heritage. Hallelujah. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of my identity. When the word of God has free control, the word of God gives you the identity that you need. The word of God identifies you as a child of God, as a believer, as somebody that is walking with the Lord. And then lastly, in verse 112, I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always. Listen to this. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes. In other words, the word of God has to be lived. It can't just be read it can't just be heard. It can't just be uttered. The word of God has to be lived. I have inclined my heart to do what? To perform thy statutes, to live by the word, to live according to the word. What? Always. I've made a commitment to God and I've made a commitment to myself that I will live by the word always, even unto the end. I've made the commitment, hallelujah, to live by the word to walk in the word statutes, to abide under the covering and the protection of the word of God. That's why I'm living, because that word, once again, think about that dark path, but think about the word giving you light as you're making your steps, as you're walking through, as you're avoiding snares, as you're avoiding pitfalls and holes and all kinds of things. It's the word giving you light so that you can live and sustain and walk in the word of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer.
Precious God, I thank you for life, health, strength. I thank you for your continued grace and favor in my life. Lord, you have not failed. I have failed you many times. I have come short many days. But Lord, you have never failed me. I thank you for your consistency. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your sustaining power. I thank you, God, for the forgiveness of sins. I thank you, God, for everything that you have done. And Lord, as we come this morning just to spend a few moments with you in prayer, I'm asking you, God, to bless everybody on this prayer line. I thank you for the morning prayer family. And whether we have come by Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or conference call, Lord, I want you to bless everybody on this line right now. I want your power, your anointing, my shataye, to flood Facebook, to flood Instagram, to flood the conference call to flood YouTube, God, and to bless the people right now, oh God, that are in this prayer today. Lord, I want you to minister to every need and every condition and every problem in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we're praying today for Mother Barbara Pittman. We're praying for Sister Sheila Reed. We're praying for Stacy and Trayvon. We're praying for Latasia. We're praying for Stefan this morning. We're praying, my God, for Bradley. We're praying for Tanya and Malik and Jaquise today. We're praying for Mother... Doretha Stokes this morning. We're praying for missionary Claritha Bradley, for Robert Davis, for Alicia Davis. We're praying for Dee Dee Bradley. We're praying for At Chica, for Tigris and Amir. We're praying for Sister Seneca Austin, for Sister Lisa Kinchin today. We're praying for Tom and Marilyn and Marsha and Joyce and Alethea. We're praying for Manny and Beverly and their families. We're praying for the Ash family, the Colbert family, for Rosetta Hunter, my God. We're praying for the Davis family, the Washington family, the White family the Spigner family. God, we're praying for the Meredith Scott and her daughter. We're praying for Valencia Perry Fuller this morning. We're praying, my God, for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. We're praying for Urban Johnson. My God, send your hand of deliverance. We're praying for Minister Sean Triplett today. God, we're lifting up, oh God, Zalacia Davis. We're praying for Doris Willingly, for Jean Dorn. We're praying for Aubrey Carson today, for Austin Blackwell. We're praying, my God, for Sister Lisa Kinchin and Sister Seneca Austin, for Devon Johnson, for Leroy Spruill today. We're praying for Margaret Harris. We're praying for the Crowder family. I'm praying for Eric today. I'm praying for Marquita and Tyree. I'm praying, my God, for Brian. I'm praying, God, that you remember Hallelujah, Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alde, Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop and Lady Cousins today. Remember Bishop Clifton Staten. Remember Bishop Evans today. Remember my God, Apostle and Lady Barry, Apostle and Lady May, Apostle and Lady Parsons today, Apostle and Lady Keith this morning. Remember Apostle and Mother Clark. Remember J.C. on Crozier, Lakita Crozier, Nijay Price, Jamari Price. Remember John and Cassandra and Latia Hay. Would. Remember Katina Page and Minister Page today. Remember Nilda Arega. Remember Linnell Andrews today. Remember Reverend, oh God, Jackie Carr Hamilton today. Remember Sister Regina Dykes this morning. God, we're praying today that you remember Patricia Garvin. Remember Azaria, Artis, Lisa White. Remember Ivy Peterson today. Remember Carolyn Moore and family, the Daniel family. Remember Roosevelt Greenwood. Remember Deja this morning, Josiah, Shardell. God, we're praying, my God, for April. We're praying for the Willis family. We're praying for the Lewis and Diamond family. We're praying for Jay this morning. We're praying for Doris Jenkins. We're praying, my God, for Adrian. We're praying for Gus and Debbie Moore. We're praying for Clinton and Mary Parker today. We're praying for Raymond Matt. God, touch now in the name of Jesus. Daryl Jones, Muriel Feather. My God, stretch out your hand, Lord God, and save, save, save. Lord, to the utmost, everybody outside of the ark of safety, everybody that does not know you as Savior and Lord, God, wash them in your blood. Lord, let them be born of the water and of the spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, look on the backsliders everywhere, everywhere, God. People have fallen by the wayside, but I'm praying, God, that you would deliver. I'm praying, God, that you would destroy the yoke and not let them be lost, but God, reclaim, restore, revive in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm praying today. I'm praying today that you look on everybody that's burdened, everybody that's broken, everybody that's perplexed by life, everybody that's depressed, God. And Lord, deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand and do what we know, God, you're able to do. God, I'm praying today for the sick everywhere. I'm praying, God, that you would remember Marquise Peterson, remember Mayola, remember Bo, remember Mother Queen Nash, remember Mother Lorraine Walker today, remember Brother Jenkins, Lawrence Davis, Aunt Ida, remember Al Hendricks today, remember Judy Cleckley this morning, remember Stacy's grandmother in the name of Jesus Christ, remember Sister Jackie Poole, Sister Latasia Davis, remember Mickey Coleman, Annie, Mother Annie Street today, remember my God Daisy Barnes, remember Armentha Hodge today, Sister Janelle, remember my my God, Mother Olivia Dorsey Conrad, remember George Martin, Jeanette, remember Francis Thompson, remember Kmart today. I'm praying for Mother Helen Wil Will Williams today. I'm praying for Mother Pinky Davis, for Mother Revis, for Mother Blunt today. I'm praying, my God, for Arthur Palmer, for Milton Hicks Jr., for Olive Mae Talford. I'm praying for Mother Fleming today, for Ricardo and Stacy. I'm praying for Diamond Bradley this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Sister Gertrude Austin today, for Mother Reavers, Mother Blunt. I'm praying for Robin. I'm praying for Junior Corsina today. I'm praying for James Kelly, for Joanne Cardona. I'm praying for Pastor Kevin Kinchin today, Sister Cheryl Van Leer, Sylvia Hood, Trey Shell L today. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Elizabeth Anderson, for Mother Patricia Jordan, for Elder Carol Thomas, Sister Marjorie Thomas, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that you're a healer. I'm praying, my God, for Minister Perkins. I'm praying for Daniel, for Xavier. I'm praying, my God, that you remember Deacon Adams today. Remember, my God, Deacon and Mother Wilson, Deacon and Sister Hamill, oh God, oh God, Harrison today. I'm praying, my God, for your healing virtue upon Phil, upon Elder Toll, Elder Dokes today. I'm praying, my God, for your healing virtue upon Mother Virgie DuBose, upon Mother Williams today, upon Mother Perry, Mother Lloyd today, Mother Meadows, God. Stretch out your healing hand to Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy today. Stretch out your healing hand, God, to missionary, hallelujah, Jesse Brisbane, missionary Marlene Roseman, missionary Hodges, God, remember sister Denise McLean, remember mother Elizabeth Wilson, remember my God, brother Carl, remember Deacon James Grant, remember Philip Grant today, I pray for pastor and lady Winston, I pray for bishop and mother D, God, send your healing virtue, I pray God in the name of Jesus, oh my God, I pray, God, hallelujah for Apostle and Lady Keith. God, stretch out your healing hand. God, remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. I pray for Sister Shakaya Polk. I pray for Mother Carol Coleman. God, I'm praying for Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper. I'm praying for Bishop Brian Williams today. I'm praying for Bishop, hallelujah, William Jenkins, my God. I'm praying that you would remember, my God, Bishop David Smith. Oh, God, Bishop Johnny Davis. I'm praying for Lady J, for Lady Kathy Forehand, for Lady Barbara Vincent, for Lady Deborah Carter. God, we're praying today that you would remember Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. We're praying today that you remember Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Mother Garland today. God, remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward. With some mother. Remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride today. God, I'm praying that you remember Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray today. Remember Brother and Mother Chambers, God. Remember Hallelujah, Mother Moorhead, Mother Carter today, Lady Staten. God, I pray for Pastor Carr and Minister Carr. I pray, God, that you remember everybody that's sick in their bodies today. Remember, Lord God, Hallelujah, Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. Lord, I'm praying today that you would look on Mother Foster, Henry J., Brother Cliff. Remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Home and Missionary Simmons today. I'm praying today for your healing to be upon Cynthia, Catherine, and Dutch Lord, remember my God in your precious name. Hallelujah. Remember Marlette today. Remember Maurice today. In the name of Jesus, God, remember in your precious, Ashiatama, in your precious name, God, remember. Hallelujah. Tony, remember Dennis today. Remember my God in the name of Jesus. Cynthia, remember Mother Jackson. Remember Apostle Moultrie. God, look on everybody that's in a hospital today, in a nursing home, a rehab center, even in hospice. My God, you're a healer. So 
oh God, touch and heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying for the grieving this morning. So many have lost loved ones. So many have lost friends. So many have lost people that are significant to them. But we're praying for your grace and your peace to be upon them. Remember the family of Janice Hayes Moore. Remember Pastor Grandison Revis, the family of Bishop Marion Wright Sr., the Greater Emmanuel Temple Church family. Remember Katari. Remember Mother Carr today. Sister Deborah Horton and the Page family. Remember Mother Hudson and Sister Sessions this morning. Remember the Wiggins Taylor family. Remember my God Tiffany today. Remember my God Margaret Speller, the Morris family. Remember Damon Stanley. Remember Maria Cassiano. Remember Gilliam family today. The Baldwin family. The Jones family. The Powell family. The Brewster family. The Singleton family. The Dent family. God, remember my God Mother Helen Williams. Mother Pinky Davis. I'm sorry, remember my God Sister Hicks today. Sister Craig. Remember Sister Tyson. Remember the Banks and Richardson family. Remember Julia Boatwright Holden. Remember the family of Lawrence Ford. Remember the Brooks family today. Remember my God the Hicks family. Remember Trina Hicks. Remember my God Sister Janelle Rousen today. Remember my God Hallelujah Minister Jamie Carr and their families. Remember my God Sister Barbara Harris. Remember Rebecca Abraham. Remember Marie Franklin today. Remember Horace Nelson. Remember Missionary Mary Mangrum God. Remember the Mitchell family. Every family that's grieving today, God, we're praying for them now. Remember, my God, Mother Walker and Mother Moya. Remember Jaleesa. Remember Jackie. Remember Takesha. Remember Whitney Phoenicia. Remember Jerry and their families. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. My God, remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, oh God, Dr. Carter and the family. Remember Apostle Fields, Shekinah and the family. God, we're praying today that you remember the Quarles family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family. Mother Grant and the family today. Remember the Groover family, the Kramer family. Though God, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. Remember my God, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters today. My God, remember Remember, oh God, hallelujah, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family. My God, remember, oh God, hallelujah, remember them in a special way. Remember, my God, the Nunn family, the Umstead family, the Green family today. Remember Brenda and the Allen McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlap the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, God, remember them. Remember, my God, the Bankses today. Remember the Wades. Remember, oh God, the Middletons, the Taylors. Look on the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. I pray for the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. God, remember, my God, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widow, where every child, parent, sibling, loved one, God, we're praying, my God, for grace upon the grieving right now. God, remember, in the name of Jesus, your body today, the church. Remember every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Remember, my God, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, the young people of the church, God. Remember them, God. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. Lord, the entire, my God, body of Christ today, God. God, strengthen the church, help the church, sustain the church, guide the church now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, God, for your grace to be upon the church, God. Remember, oh God, first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. Remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, school employees and students everywhere. God, look on everybody that's working. God, cover them, keep them, protect them. Everybody that needs a job. Lord God, hallelujah, create an opportunity and make a way. And God, everybody, oh God, on fixed incomes, God, Lord, make provision. Provide for them now. Make their ends meet in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, look on this troubled world. Trouble everywhere. Trouble all over the globe. But God, you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the great physician. So heal the land. Heal the land from sin, from unrighteousness, from hatred, from jealousy, from violence. Heal the land, my God, from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism and let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you like never before. Lord, cover us, protect us, keep us today. 
Lord, let your glory be revealed in us and we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, let's give God praise right now. Everybody on the line, let's give God praise right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. You're so worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. God, we love him today, saints. We love him today for his goodness and his mercy in our lives. This is my declaration for today. The Lord's testimonies make me rejoice. The Lord's testimonies make me rejoice. I'm rejoicing in the promises and the precepts and the keeping power of the word of God. His word is a lamp unto my feet in this dark place, this dark world. I don't have to stumble. I can walk in the word. I can walk by the word. I can walk under the light of the word. Hallelujah. And I'm blessed and I'm protected and I'm safe. Hallelujah. Because I'm living by the living word of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number, and stay with us. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we thank God for them, and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, in North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemple, NC.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also give through the GiveLify app. Just simply type Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place, and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, One Refuge, and you can make your gift there and we thank you for your giving but we thank you for being a part of the morning prayer family because people all over the world are being blessed because we pray together each morning and god bless you for your faithfulness and your consistency oh god in this great work of prayer i want to invite everybody everybody that can and go, will go with us to the caribbean on this summer all right i've posted it on facebook i'm going to try to post it some other places to make sure you know about it but in the month of June, we're going by the grace of God to St. Kitts. We're going to Jamaica to join the um, 76th, I want to say, Jamaican Convocation of the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. And then we're coming for revival in St. Lucia, the beginning of July. You don't want to miss this. If you've never traveled on the global field, it will bless you. If you've traveled before, you know the blessing of traveling and going, hallelujah, to just to share the gospel, to share encouragement, and just to be among the people of God. So I'm inviting you to find a flyer, fill it out, all right, so that we can give you information about the trips and the cost and what have you, and join us in the Caribbean on this summer. I thank God for all of you, and I ask you to keep praying, and as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us, and let's pray one for another that the grace of God might cover and keep us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord let his word keep you from walking in dark places, that your feet never stumble. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.